In the morning, people want to start with a coffee. There is always something missing. <laughs> if you don't do it. I need my coffee to start my day kind of person. And I drink lots of coffee. I drink, I don't even want to say how many a day because it's not healthy. It gives you energy. I get a jolt. I'm ready to go. And I get a lot done. Thank you, coffee. You have that sip of coffee and it's kind of like it opens up the soul. There's a routine involved. The first thing I turn on is the machine. As soon as I get to work, I have a cappuccino. Either an espresso or a macchiato. Then mid-morning, around 10, 11, I have a small espresso. A cafe americano, right? Because I was raised on, on Canadian coffee. And in the afternoon, if it's not too busy, or if I'm not too wired, I'll have another one. Coffee works on so many different levels, right? How do you like your coffee? I don't think there's a right way, I don't think there's a wrong way. So you can have the Italian way, you can have the North American way. You like it sweet, I like it bitter, you like it with milk, I like it with no milk. I like it naked, not physically naked. If that's what someone likes, you can't really deny that to them. I mean, the coffee itself has to be naked. I used to take a lot of sugar in it. I don't trust people who don't use sugar in their coffee. My aunt, <laughs> she passed away. She was looking at me when I was putting sugar and say, how can you ruin the coffee? You have a coffee, espresso, cappuccino, and you have desserts. If people want to have desserts, I think more power to them, but please don't call it a coffee. If I'm going to have a dessert, I'll have a cannoli. Sorry to say this, but I'm also a smoker, so smoking and coffee, they get along very well. I think espresso is the true expression of the coffee bean. The good thing about espresso is the simplicity. It's getting every nuance exploding in a small cup. Espresso is definitely naked. The perfect espresso has to be served in a warm cup, has to be short and creamy. But when you move the cup, the coffee moves slowly. And it's like a, a sweet wave. There's only one way of ordering it, and that's that. If I don't have a coffee that really stains the tongue and the cup, is not a real espresso, you know? It has to leave your mouth with a, with a sweetness at the end of it. Cocoa, chocolatey, hazelnut, uh, milky. My reaction to bad coffees, I don't drink it, it's an offense. It's, it's a personal attack, really. Coffee needs this sort of attention, attention to detail. Back in Italy, we say is, is the three M's, e la miscela. You gotta search for a very good blend, good beans, good mix. Ground up. At the moment, you need it. La macchina. The machine, which is going to give you the right pressure and the right temperature. La mano. The human hands. Barista is the number one thing. A barista is a professional. The care, the love that you're putting in doing it, you know. There's a lot to it, you know. It's not that easy as it seems. So you want to tamper it just with the right amount of pressure so it's creating the perfect flavor and aroma in the espresso. I saw people pressing the coffee with such violence and rage. They say, but this is an act of love, my friend. I always say you need to enjoy the espresso on the spot, right away. The best espresso is at the bar. An espresso you don't drink in your car. You don't take it to go, it's like an, in it's an insult. One sip. The social drink. It gathers people together. The coffee gets in the mood to, to talk. It's more of an intimate discussion as well. When we're having a coffee, it's something in. It's closer to a hug. You're never alone when you have coffee. You can go and share your thoughts and emotions uh, with someone that's a total stranger. Out of nowhere, they become friends. You don't know what you're going to be talking about? You have a deep philosophical conversation about something deeply unimportant. But usually when you're with your friends, it's sports, politics. Sport or politics? Sports to politics. Sports and politics. Before it used to be politics. Now we cut the bullshit with politics. No more. Definitely soccer. People like Voltaire, Montesquieu, they were saying, drink coffee be coffee because coffee represents the activity of the brain. So it became really some sort of a drink for people that want to think. <laughs> Makes you smarter because it frees your mind. <laughs> but you feel like talking like you were Jean-Paul Sartre. You are not, but you think you are. If you start off your day with a good coffee, it'll solve some problems for you. 
brain activity on coffee will be normal brain activity, but if they don't drink coffee, it's as if their brain activity drops. I do my best work when I have a cup of coffee next to me. Because you are having the coffee, so your, your eyes are open. It's almost like this aura of peace that surrounds the cup. Can play a significant role in slowing someone down. Doesn't matter how you do it, always put a smile in the face though you serve it. I think it's the simplicity of things. You know, life, kids, work, whatever it is, we make things complicated. But if you can just have a simple, great cup of coffee or espresso, I'm at peace. When I see a cup of coffee, I don't see just water and coffee. I see many efforts, I see life. I can live without pasta. I can even live without pizza. Without coffee, no, it would be really a tormented life. Please drink good coffee. Don't drink shitty coffee, life is too short. <laughs>